Hey guys, Shea Bear 1000 here. Today, we're going to be putting a fuel line on this little lawnmower. So stick with me and we can do this together. Okay guys, this is what we got going on here. This fuel line is just it's toast uh, see that see it's all cracked up and dry rotted see all them cracks and it's real see that so I've got a line here I'm not sure if that's a 5 16 that's on there <coughs> excuse me or not but uh we're gonna give this a shot and I'm gonna put you on the stand I want to take. I got to take it off up here. There's an access hole right here. It's got a plug in it. So I'm gonna to try to take it off here because it's bad too. I don't know if you can see down in there that fuel line right. Shit. See how cracked up that is and dry rotted. Uh, there is a filter right below that. So I'm gonna put you on the stand. And I'm going to try to zoom in up here on it somewhere so you can get a better view of what I'm going to do. Just going to take the whole thing off. And then we're going to see what we've got. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've got enough to do that one. I'm still going to have to find another little line to go from that filter right there on up into the carburetor. It's about three inches maybe. Uh, so, let me get you on the stand. Okay, I'm going to take this off here first. A little clamp up there. Feels like it's kind of hard to get to. So I might be able to use these things. Right there. To kind of get up under and squeeze that clamp. I don't know, because I can't see anything. I'm just going by feel here, so... Uh... Probably, I should probably just cut this off and um, do it that way. It's going to be a lot easier. I can just zip tie it back together when I'm done. I got the battery on the charger. I've got it on a uh, 2 amp charge because this battery's only let's see a little over a year old. So now let's pull this up through here. Now I can see, see that there? That's how bad that is. This fuel line I got might be too big. I may have to use my fuel line off of my mower. We'll see here. No, it'll be just fine. Okay, cool. So, I still may have to use a short piece off of mine. And we just got to see. Go ahead and take this clamp off of here. Now we can slide this protecting thing off of here. <laughs> that little, just that foam stuff. Uh, I'm surprised it's lasted this long because usually that's the first stuff to break up and fall off of there. So, there's the fuse. Now I gotta get up in here somehow or another and do the same thing over here on this side. See my fingers down in there? Let's get you zoomed in a little bit. I got it um, up under here. So let's see if I can get these pliers up under here. We're in this access hole over here. 
that way I don't have to pull this whole side this whole side cover off. I may have to but I should I mean that's why they put this hole here but I might be able to slide it off of there. Pull it off or something. Okay, it came off. Alright. It does have a filter on it. That's... Of course I ripped a little bit of that but you you get the idea so you know it's heat down here in Florida plus this thing being all enclosed like that see that whole thing now the leak I believe was right up in this area or no it was right in this area here is where it was leaking at so So there's that all right now I'm going to take this this filter off I'm going to blow through it with compressed air I've got a new one over I've got a couple new ones if it needs one all it is is just a screen it's not really a filter per se it's just a little tiny screen inside there uh, so let me get this put on to this line and let me get another piece of line and then we'll uh, we'll put this line back on fill it up with fuel and we'll take it for a little ride. Okay, I do have a brand new filter here, but it's fine, okay? Well, actually this one's fine. I know it's a little dirty on the outside. It looks good on the inside, looks nice and silver. But if you listen, when you shake it, there's no noises in here. So let me see, I'll blow through it for you. Just like that, now here's the new one same thing so just because it's dirty on the outside guys don't mean it's not doing its job on the inside so I just wiped it up a little bit clean it off I did blow it out with compressed air it's fine you can reuse them if there's no clogs in it so I just wanted to clarify that so let me get back to getting this thing put back together and uh, I still need to find another short piece of fuel line so I'm looking um, and then we're going to go from there. Hang tight, guys. Okay, guys, we got the fuel line on. There's the filter. I'll show you what I did up here. I don't know if you can see that. But you should be able to see it. Yeah, see, I put a regular clamp on there. So, that way it was easier to put on and everything. So, we're going to put some gas in here. Let me get you on the stand. And we're going to make sure... I'm sweating all over the camera. We're going to make sure that it's not going to leak so we can pretty much see the whole fuel line right there so it's coming from over there and then up into the carburetor all right so let's put uh, i gotta get a tie this was on this was on wrong so i'm gonna put it on the right way and i'll wire tie it i don't know what happened to the original straps who knows i'm not sure what year this thing is so Okay, there is something in the in the fuel tank here. So let me get let me get something and pick that out of there. Got some zip ties here. Okay. I've got some more if I need them. But Then we can put some fuel in it. You know what? Let's take this on this side of it, kind of at a crisscross, like this. That'll make you jump, jump, right? <laughs> Get it? Come on. Make sure I gotta get it down in them, them holes, huh? There we go. There we go. One 
some more of there would be just fine. Alright. Now, dump a little fuel in here. Alright, now I'm going to let this set for a little bit. i got to go measure something for monkey. Well, actually for me, for monkey. <laughs> uh, and then I'll come back and we'll check it. And if it seems to be okay, we'll take it and cut the grass with it. I'm sure the blade, I think they said something about the blade needing sharpen, which I remember I last time I cut with it, it needed sharpen. So, but anyway, hang loose guys. I'll be right back with you. Okay guys, I'm back. Now see, this doesn't need a fuel pump. It should have one, but it doesn't need one because technically the fuel is higher than the carburetor. So sometimes it may take a little bit of cranking to uh, get this thing to, to get these. Once you have them apart like that, there's a loose bolt there. Once you have these apart like that, sometimes you may have to prime them. I know you're not supposed to, but you can squirt a little uh, starting fluid in there. But hopefully, last time I had this running, I shut it off. So there should be enough gas in the carburetor to start it and suck that up. So let's find out. I'm going to run it on full choke, and we're going to start it up. Okay guys, it's hotter than hell out here. That's a real simple job. Just sometimes they're hard to get to. Uh, like that one. But at least I had an access hole. I'm going to try to cut some of this grass with it. Um, see the yard's getting kind of tall there. But we're trying to let it grow. Because we, as you can see, it's, it's mostly sand. We have a hard time growing grass. And now that we got to park here, because the vet is right there, um, you know it's even worse but I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna pick up my tools we're gonna fire it up and we're gonna see how it cuts all right I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure last time I cut their grass with it it seemed like the blade was dull that'll be another video but it needs to be run so I'm gonna run it a little bit make sure it's gonna be running fine make sure it's not gonna start leaking and then we're gonna sell it so Stay tuned for that clip coming next, but until then, remember guys, Shea Bear the Myth, the Man, the Legend, I'm gone for now. Thanks for watching guys, bye bye and take care. Okay guys, right at the end of the last clip, 
Well, we was just getting ready to make that turn. I shut the camera off, get ready to take off, and I blew a belt. <laughs> so, it's a drive belt. Is it hanging down here? Goes around these pulleys up here. This is a. Uh... Sorry, guys. That's the variable speed pulley right here. So it goes up on top of that and then around over to the engine. Uh, and this other belt, it's the same belt. But uh, so I went ahead and ordered one. It'll be in next Friday. So stay tuned for that and we'll throw a belt on this thing. I'll film that for you too.